Hey everybody, uh, Steve with TechSpeak here today. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about uh, Wi-Fi and what's the best Wi-Fi solution for you. Uh, now we're gonna assume for a second that you've already talked to your internet service provider. They've given you your little modem provider combo and you're happy with that, but you wanna expand Wi-Fi uh, or expand Wi-Fi to other areas and you're looking for different ways to do that. You see a lot of information on the internet and kind of wondering where to go. So uh, that's what this video is for. Uh, and without further ado, let's get started. So uh, there's basically two different ways to deploy Wi-Fi in your home. Uh, one is uh, using wireless repeaters and the other is using wireless access points. Uh, we are gonna be talking about the repeaters first because that's the one you, the end user, is most commonly gonna see. Uh, the wireless repeaters are the ones you see all over Amazon and other online sites like that. Uh, Google Home is a great example, uh, sorry, Google Wi-Fi is a great example of a, uh, a wireless repeater system. Ubiquity has their Amplify system, that's also a wireless repeater system. Um, I think Netgear's got some as well. Um, different systems like that that are basically built as plug and play devices with no additional wiring needed. So the way those devices work is you have your existing wireless router here. You plug in these wireless repeaters throughout your home where you think the Wi-Fi is a little bit weak. These wireless repeaters are within Wi-Fi range of this router. They have their own radio and they in effect bounce that signal to your particular uh, Wi-Fi device. So uh, let's say you have a little iPhone 7 right here. Excuse my crude drawing, but that's my iPhone 7. Uh, and you want to connect via Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi was a little bit weak, so you put the, the wireless repeater here and now you've got a good strong signal. However, having a strong signal is not the same thing as having a, a strong or wide bandwidth. Uh, you've improved your signal, but you've actually reduced your bandwidth. Uh, and the reason is, is that all wireless devices uh, share a fixed bandwidth with, with each other. So the more wireless devices you add to any one router, uh, the less bandwidth each wireless device has. Um, kind of think of it like uh, there's one particular person handing out food or cookies and the more people that come, the less each w one individual gets a cookie or a piece of food. So um, this is an okay option if your uh, bandwidth needs are limited. Um, you're only doing light email, maybe light internet surfing, looking at occasional standard F uh, video here and there. Um, you know, not really great for streaming or anything else like that. Uh, they can work in certain circumstances, but you know, generally you're gonna be um, bogging down the wireless side of your network. Um, they are definitely cheaper options. Uh, they come in nice little kits that the DOI user can uh, install on their own, so you don't need somebody like us to uh, put those in for you. Um, you can put them in just about all homes because there's really no wiring that's needed in between the wireless repeaters and the router itself. Uh, and, um, you know, they're a great solution for, for many folks. Um, but uh, we actually prefer the wireless access point option uh, for, uh, really honestly, the main reason is higher data throughput uh, for your wireless devices. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So first I want to explain how the wireless access point system works. So very similarly to the wireless repeater system, we have our router here. Uh, and then uh, what is now going to be different is we're going to be running a wire between each of these wireless access points that are deployed throughout the property. And so again, if I have my iPhone 7 right here, again, excuse the drawing, uh, and I want to communicate uh, via Wi-Fi because I had a bag Wi-Fi connection before, it's now communicating to this wireless access point. But from here on out, this is all a uh, wired data transfer back to the router and for the router back to the access point and back to the phone. So it's going to be a, a much faster throughput of data uh, than a wireless repeater system would. So uh, that sounds like a win-win for everyone, right? So why doesn't everybody do this? Well, it doesn't come in a kit. Um, in fact, it's really hard to find a traditional access point on uh, sites like Amazon, Alibaba, and stuff like that. You can do it, but you need to know what you're looking for. Um, the gear is much more expensive than the wireless repeater. Um, each one of these access points is gonna run you know, probably $150 to $300. Uh, 
uh, and um, you know, including kind of an enterprise grade router, you're probably talking seven eight hundred dollars in gear alone. Never mind all the wiring for setup. Uh, speaking of wiring, you know, the wire's got to go somewhere. Most people don't want it out in the open, so. Uh, Installing this physical wiring could mean you're cutting open your walls, your ceiling, your uh, subfloor area to get all this wiring in place, and that could imply additional costs, uh, making this uh, 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 even more expensive than this type of DIY option uh, as well. Um, but, you know, like I said in the end, uh, this is the uh, faster method of spreading Wi Fi throughout your home. This is the type of method. Uh, or design rather you're going to see in most commercial installations uh, as well as in large residential installations it is by far the best way to uh, spread Wi-Fi throughout the home and our recommended way if you have really heavy or really robust uh, Wi-Fi needs. Uh, this is actually a star based topology uh, meaning that each wireless access point is communicating back to the router uh, like this. Um, these, these wireless access points are not communicating to each other. You may he hear this mesh term in this wireless repeater world being kind of thrown around a lot. Uh, uh, mesh does have a, a technical description uh, uh, that is beneficial. However, the way they're using it is really kind of more marketing hype than anything else. Uh, these, these wireless repeaters are still uh, star-based. They're just a wireless star base. So, it's meshed to the extent that it's uh, uh, covering Wi-Fi throughout your home, but it's not meshed through any sort of beneficial purpose uh, versus wireless repeaters that have been out for several years. So there's, there's nothing new here except for a little marketing hype. So uh, anyway, we hope you've uh, found this information uh, helpful. If you have any more specific questions about your particular Wi-Fi needs, uh, we'd be happy to help. You can reach us at 855-832-4775 or find us on the web at www.technospeakco.com. Uh, if you have more um, specific Wi-Fi needs and are in the Los Angeles area and would like to visit uh, or would like us to visit with you in person to discuss your Wi-Fi needs, we'd be happy to do that as well. Just uh, feel free to contact us at one of the um, either the phone number or the website I mentioned before. And uh, once again, this is Steve uh, with TechnoSpeak, and uh, thank you very much for your time.